What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Sorry for the lack of uploading lately. I'm trying to get videos out to you guys. Like I uh, explained in the last video, uh, I've kind of got a lot going on right now. Um, so it's hard to find time to, to make these videos, but I will do my best. This is going to be an update for the week. I know I said I push out a Series 35 full update video. Um, usually that comes up before the first week uh, update, but I've been pretty busy, like I said, uh, and that's a really long and grueling video to make. So give me some more time on that, and I'll make sure to get that out for you guys. Um, it will get out, so don't don't worry about it. It just might not be, you know, right away. I'm going to try to push it out before this festival season is over, the first season. Um, but other than that, let's jump right into uh, the weekly update for the Forza Line Shop. It's going to be the 94 Twin Turbo. This is basically a free 12 million. Um, so if you're worried about getting funds to snipe the cars that I'm going to be talking about in this video, which a lot of you guys talk about every time uh, when I give you guys cars to snipe, you say you don't really have the cash for it. What's some quick, easy cars to flip so you can get some money? Um, just pick up this car. Do the Forza on Lives. Get Forza on Points. Buy this car. Sell it for, you know, 10, 12 million, whatever. And then use that to piggyback into sniping for the week and uh basically for your career on forza um coinseg one to one is uh it's a pretty decent car to pick up it's worth about one to three million i believe and uh it's a pretty fun car to drive overall as most of those cars are pretty uh decent to drive um jumping into the actual playlist um the the reward for the series is the fiat x1 by now, I don't really think this thing is really worth uh, riding home to Mamba. I mean, it's like two million, probably uh, kind of worthless and uh, not that important. Um, but for the summer playlist, fifty percent completion GMC Typhoon. I think this is honestly a slap in the face for them to put this back into the game. Um, the car was just starting to hit a recovery period. Um, this and the Cyclone had finally gotten back up to five, six million, and then they immediately put it back in the game. And as far as I'm concerned, Forza is effectively trying, like the devs of Forza are effectively trying to murder this price because this car used to be a huge moneymaker for a lot of people. It used to be a really great car uh, that people worked hard to try to get. Um, used to be worth 15, 20 million, and they put it in the game, and then they put it in the game again, and then they put it in the game again, and then left it out for like a couple weeks to a month and now they are absolutely lighting the price on fire again by putting it back in the game i, I it's i don't know i don't know why they keep adding it back but anyways uh 80 completion bugatti devo this is a huge 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 one um the car's never gonna really go over eight million it's only ever done that once and it raised up pretty high uh well if you don't include 10 million it, it goes up to 10 million every once in a blue moon but other than that it's only ever really gone past that one time uh, in its recent past, and it stayed there for a very short period of time. Um, but it's a great opportunity to pick up a ton of these for a really low price, maybe bid on some and get some wins, or look to snipe them for very low prices and either use that as like a collection stock or use that to sell in the future because the price will be guaranteed to go back up if it does dip at all um from 8 million it might not dip from 8 million but if it does dip the price will go back up on these 100 percent. so maybe stockpile a couple of those um but just don't plan on them going above 8 million so i probably wouldn't pay more than 4 million uh if you're trying to pick any of those up Porsche 550 is pretty useless uh the reno leo uh pretty useless lancia stratos useless hummer open top useless but the most important part of this entire playlist or not playlist but this entire season of the playlist um is the jeep gladiator this is a new car that just got added to the game you guys know the drill with these new cars um if you don't you're new to the videos snipe the living daylights out of this thing i mean it whenever there's a new car in the game they absolutely skyrocket in price they're very low to start so you buy them as an investment you buy them super low and then you're going to sell them extremely high um in the coming weeks after it's out of the playlist or out of the out of its season and then eventually out of the playlist so during autumn uh, it's going to start to raise a little bit during winter it's probably going to be at its pinnacle um and then you're going to sell out a ton of these uh for a lot of profit and other than that that's kind of 
that's kind of it. Like I said, I'm going to make sure to push out a full series update for winter, autumn, spring, all those. We're going to we're going to get an update out to all of you guys um pertaining to basically how to make money for the entire series uh 35. Hopefully, they release Forza Horizon 5 soon so we can switch up the content. I've been trying to diversify it a little bit, uh dropping an Apex video here or an F1 video there. Um, because the, at, the, at the end of the day, I do want to keep this channel going, if at all possible, into other games, and especially Forza Horizon 5 for you guys. Um, and we're going to jump right into making money on that game, too. Uh, so, uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, uh, or if you, I should say, if you enjoyed the video, like, comment, and subscribe. Um, it really does support uh, the growth of this channel and uh, helps me out a lot. And, uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching.